Hello, I am Neil Fox, the producer of this video, talking as Lucifer in an electronically altered voice. Many of you will find the idea of someone talking in an altered voice as Lucifer to be rather absurd, and I quite agree. One would hope that it is just absurd enough to keep you at a thinking distance as I speak. Some of you do not need this distance, but among those that I am trying to reach, there are exceedingly sensitive souls who care more deeply than others do care about all sorts of things, all sorts of feelings that in another might be dulled almost to the point of extinction. And upon encountering talks as unusual as mine, such caring people need a bit of a cushion, or they become terribly afraid. And as we proceed from video to video, there may be some fear. A nerve or two might get touched, and things may get a little raw. So please remember that our format is inarguably ridiculous. And a number of our shows demonstrate an openness to laughter and a level of self-parody that is quite a bit less subtle than the one I am indulging in just now. Pagan voices in America do laugh, even do occasionally laugh at themselves. Then again, over the coming years, what will disturb the sensitive most will be that this absurd series will discuss future events that, one way or another, to one degree or other, come true. Considering this, I suppose one would assume that the person creating these shows would be more solemn and straightforward. But even for the less sensitive, bright though these may be, but not altogether, let's say, the feeling type, even for you, my more cerebral friends, there is a reason for this piece of theater. Our intent is to disabuse you of your attachment to the idea that a psychic, to say nothing of one who simply studies prophecy and interprets prophecy, need be what Yanks might call a holy Joe. Neil Fox is not a holy Joe. Ask anyone. Oh, I know. Some of you, maybe quite a few of you, will say you do not need to be disabused of this idea, that you disabused yourself from this idea long ago or were never under its spell to begin with. But in your culture, I must insist, it is bred in you, in some part of you somewhere, bred down deep that which needs to believe in something, something beyond your conventional understanding. And this something for you will always at least have some vague association with religion. It is embedded in how you feel, if not in how you think no matter how hard-headed you might imagine you are. So many holy pretensions on down through the ages, and so much of it to do with prophecy, but psychic phenomenon is natural, and all too human, and often quite fallible, even, yes, in prophecies that can be found in the Bible. As I point out in our one Bible studies video to date, as I speak here and now in June of 2009, Despite what your religions and your modern secular sense of things have done to your mind, the inevitable psychic retardation implicit in your present system of perception, it is nonetheless human and natural to experience mental faculties that most of you assume are not real, including precognitions. And when the precognitions touch on mass events, then such probabilities are more firmly rooted in what is likely to happen than when it is about some personal event on the horizon that one can simply choose to circumvent. Again, my intention is not holy. My intention is to liberate you from this hopeless comparison with the holy that finds you feeling so completely unholy that you go about with the very mistaken assumption that you are, after all, just you. And just you is hardly anyone to bother about, because it is only the holy that can speak of certain mysterious things, much less experience certain mysterious things. No, Fox is not holy. 
and yet these videos of his will grapple with all the major world prophecies, and his conclusions will prove what you Yanks call the ballpark for what is to come in this century. You need not believe. Only holy men require your faith. I only require your attention. Meanwhile, let the holy men come forward with their spin on prophecy, and let them speak of things to come. I am pleased to have them step up and dispute my forecasts. Line them up and let them have their say. Then, as this century unfolds, see who is more right than wrong, and who is more wrong than right. In the meantime, dismiss what I say as madness, as silliness, as delusion, even as a transparent fraud. But as absurd as it all must seem to you at the moment. Do hear me out. Not one prophecy shall I leave unturned for these pious ones to hang on to and call their own. I shall take every last major oracle and reinterpret it according to what will actually occur. Not one single solitary omen that has any legs will be permitted any longer to belong to the holy. And having exposed these as ones bereft of the prerequisite knowledge for understanding such portents, I will have, in the space of a single generation, stripped them of their authority over the mind and heart of the human race. Or as you Yanks would put it, I'm messing with these guys here in a major way. If the Lucifer series is not always 100% right about the future, and, and nobody ever gets it 100%, we do try to keep it interesting. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.